For the video. Oh, my bad. I thought. Okay, we'll just eat these and then we'll make more. Just eat this one. Okay. So for today's video, we wanted to share with you guys one of our favorite quick and easy snacks. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna show you how to make this snack four different ways, mm -hmm. too sweet and too savory. Mm -hmm. And the base of the snack is gonna be the same throughout and it's really simple. It's just rice cake. Yep, now I know what you're thinking. Rice cake is boring, it's bland, it doesn't taste good. But listen, trust me, if you were like me, I thought the same thing until I met her and she showed me a lot of different ways <laughs> that you can make this good. Yep. So we're gonna give you four different ways to kind of make rice cakes a little bit more sexy, a little bit more How to appealing dress to your taste buds, and it's actually really good, trust me. Yep, and not only is it really good, but it's also easy to make it fit into your calories and macros True. if you're looking to um, lose body fat or have a certain goal, mm -hmm. but also you can dress these up and make them really indulgent too. Exactly. Yep. So, all right, really simple, four different ways. Let's get started with the first one. Let's get it. Okay, so our first rice cake is going to be avocado. So this rice cake has one ounce of avocado smashed with a squeeze of lime. Mm -hmm. Then we have three grape tomatoes sliced on top with everything but the bagel seasoning yep. and garnished with a little cilantro. Yep. All right, so this rice cake in particular has 113 calories, has 13 grams of carbs, has seven grams of fat and two grams of protein. Yep, so if you're looking to cut out bread and you love avocado toast, this is a great replacement. It really does taste just as good and yep. you can add whatever you like on top of avocado toast. You mm -hmm. can add it on top of the rice cake exactly. as well. Um, can I eat this one then? Yeah, you can eat this one. You can have this one. See, it's really good. I'm not forcing him to eat this. Mm. Verdict? Mmm. Yeah. No, right. Okay, do that, do that. <laughs> All right, so the next one we have for you is a sweet one. And if you like her and have a sweet tooth, I really think you're gonna like this one. All right, so. Drum roll. What we have is a chocolate hummus and strawberry rice cake. Now this is a tablespoon of chocolate hummus and it's about two to three sliced strawberries on top. Yes, yeah, so this one in particular has 86 calories. 15 grams of carbs, no. three grams of fat, and two grams of protein. Mm -hmm. So this would be like a good take on like a chocolate covered strawberry. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't tried chocolate hummus, listen, please listen. don't knock it until you try it. It is so good, especially if you have a sweet tooth or you're a chocolate mm -hmm. person. I would go as far as to compare this as something like brownie batter. Brownie it, batter. It's thick and it's good. Like licking and it's it sweet. out the bowl good. Yes, it's so good. <laughs> Literally, it's, she would lick it off of a spoon. Yeah, she just like you herself. would brownie batter. Exactly. So this one, if you have a sweet tooth, this is a really, really good one. 86 calories. Yeah. Like that's less than probably a regular chocolate covered strawberry. Yeah, you can have so, two, maybe yeah. even three. Yeah, maybe four, <laughs> exactly. exactly. So since we're taking bites out of all of them, you. <laughs> she gave me the <laughs> strawberry. So our next rice cake is... A little savory again. Yes, garlic hummus and feta. Mm. So this one has one tablespoon of garlic hummus and you can use any hummus that you like. Yep. Half an ounce of feta cheese and garnished with a little parsley, and then again, everything but the bagel seasoning, just because that goes on everything. Exactly, so this has a total of 88 calories, it has 10 grams of carbs, it has three grams of fat, and it's pretty high protein at six grams. So if you're looking for a high protein snack, um, this is also gonna fulfill like a salty, savory mm -hmm. craving. So if you like veggies and hummus, this is another good little snack to have yeah. as well. And I'm like a pita chip and hummus fan, so yeah. this is, I think, is a good alternative. Um, Cause to I could eat an a, entire I bag. I could eat a whole bag of pita chips in bag. one sitting and not yeah. even feel bad about it. So honestly, I think this is a little bit more filling than like a serving of pita chips. Yeah, so, so you could have just one or two of these and be satisfied. So. Exactly. All right, you take the first bite? Yeah. You can have the first bite. Okay. Oh, this is good. Yeah. My breath's not gonna be great, but. 
Mm. But the bagel seasoning. Take a does bite. It. Look at that. If you're gonna make this one, look at that. Everything but the bagel seasoning for sure. It does it. I don't know what it is about it. You know what? Also, I know you can use any hummus, but I think the garlic no, hummus. The garlic doesn't. Yeah. All right, so for our fourth and final rice cake, we have another sweet one. Now this one is very sentimental because this is one of, this mimics one of her favorite all time flavor combinations. Of all time. Of all time, ever. okay. If I brought her one of these home, she would be the happiest person in the world. We that have- That is? Peanut butter and, and chocolate. chocolate chips. Little peanut butter cup. Yeah. All right, so this is just a half a tablespoon of peanut butter and eight dark chocolate chips. Yes, so this one has 122 calories, mm -hmm. 13 grams of carbs, mm -hmm. seven grams of fat, and three grams of protein. Yep. So let me tell you why I like this one, because <laughs> I can eat two of these and be she could eat three. satisfied. She I could eat three, three of mm -hmm. these and be satisfied. I can't just eat two peanut butter cups. So no, if I have this in place of a peanut butter cup, um, it's a lot better for me. And I'm a little bit more full. Yeah, satisfied. for sure, for yeah. sure. So I tried to opt for one of these instead of 10 peanut butter cups. Yeah, so. and, I, and it looks simple. It looks, you know, kind of plain, but it's, it's kind of, if you really love peanut butter cups, like this will kind of fulfill that craving. So, yeah, so. do it, eat it. Eat it. All right, so those are the four different um, snack options we wanted to give you guys as far as rice cakes today. Yep. So hopefully you learned a new combo and a new snack that you're about to go try. Exactly, but before you go create your own masterpieces, <laughs> we wanna show you some different ways that you can maybe indulge a little bit more yeah. um, and with some different flavors. Yes, yeah, so this one here is a chocolate rice cake. Mm -hmm. um, so that one's gonna have 60 calories per rice cake. And then the caramel one is going to have 50 calories per rice cake. Yeah. And if you compare that to the plain, the plain only has 35 calories. So yeah. if you choose to have one of the flavored ones, it's gonna add a few more calories than the macros that we gave you earlier. But the flavored ones, you can also have plain with nothing on them mm -hmm. or the chocolate one, for example, just put the peanut butter, then you don't need the chocolate chips. Exactly. So yep. it's another way to dress them up mix and up. mix it up a little bit. Exactly. Yeah. So, All yeah. right, guys, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Also down in the comments, let us know which is your favorite, yeah. which one would you prefer? Yeah. And if you don't like any of these, tell us what way that you would customize your yeah. own rice if, cake. I love rice cake. So if you have other ways to customize them that we didn't mention, mm -hmm. please leave them in the comments. I'll try them and let you know. What if we had a rice cake creation contest? A rice cake Under off. 200 calorie rice cake contest. Ooh. What if we a did that? A rice cake off. Stop. <laughs> I would be down for that just to learn new ways to make yeah. rice cakes. So you guys are down, drop them in the comments. Yeah. Let us know what's your favorite combo. Also, we plan to do more nutritional yeah. videos. We realize we haven't done as many, so we want to really press nutrition. That's a big factor as far as helping yeah. you reach your goals. Exactly. So let us know down in the comments what you need help with, what you want to see. And look, yeah. hey, I'm so, low key a chef. So I, key a chef. I can definitely give you recipes, yeah. different combos, different yeah. ways. And that we're you both, can we both got nutrition certifications, so yeah. we're both very very knowledgeable in nutrition. Um, ask us your questions. Let yeah. us know what we can help you with. All right, guys. So don't forget to check out some of our other videos on the channel as well. And like and subscribe. And we'll see you back at the see next. See you at the next video. She's going to eat all seven of them we just showed you today. <laughs>